Hello, my name is Latori and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you all of the pieces that I've picked up from Zara over the last few months. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, stay tuned. So I'm going to get started with two pieces that are super popular. I'm sure you have seen them by now. And it is these two muscle tees. I got one in black and one in white. Um, and I love the fit of them. They're not too heavy, so they're great for layering. And what I like most about them is that they're cropped. I love to wear um, skirts that are really high waisted. And when you have shirts that are full length, they can tend to like bunch up around my midsection. And I hate that. So I pick up a lot of like crop tops so that when I wear my skirts high waisted, they meet right at the same place and I don't have to worry about that extra fabric under my skirt. So it's a little more seamless. Um, these have the padded, um, they have the shoulder pads, which is super trendy. It's kind of a dupe for the Frankie shop tee. And I will probably just wear these super casually. I could throw a blazer over it and with this shoulder padding, it would still make a statement, even though it would be toned down a little under the blazer or because it is, um, we're getting into the cooler weather here in Maryland, I could even put like a turtleneck under this and I think that would be super cute, like to put a white turtleneck under this black one and I think that would be a really cool piece that I have is another crop top and it is this black and white plaid um, cropped button down. And this, it doesn't have the shoulder padding, but it does still have a shoulder detail here that I really love. Um, it's long sleeves and it has two buttons here. So it's pretty much just a button down and except it's cropped. And this was $39.90. They actually have one of these in brown that I've, I've been thinking about getting. I just don't want to pay full price for the brown because I don't wear that many browns. So I don't know how much use I would get out of it. And I plan to pair this with this really cute skirt that I found at the thrift store. And... I'm really excited about that. This, it has like a, the slightest hint of yellow and I really like that popping out. So the fit on this is really good. Um, I don't typically wear things that button down the front just because I'm a little heavier in the chest area. And you know how it can do like that pulling and I, I hate to see that the buttons just look super stressed out and I'm not with that. But with this, the fit actually is really good. So this is a good one. I will leave the link below if this is still available. You guessed it, another crop top. This one is a sweatshirt and it is really, really comfortable. I've never gotten a sweatshirt from Zara before, but I definitely want to go and pick up some more after receiving this because it is so heavy and warm. Um, this is just like a basic piece that I plan to wear a lot of different ways. This can be layered underneath a blazer or a coat. It can be worn by itself because it is so thick. And the waistband, it has this elastic, so it will stay in place if you plan to wear it um, during the fall and winter. You don't have to worry about it moving around and exposing your, your stomach to the cold air. And it has a hood on it, so this is super cute. And this was $15.95, which is actually really good. Honestly, I think I paid more. I'm gonna have to check my receipt for this one. And if it's not $15.95, I will leave the, the correct amount on the screen. This is the last crop top that I picked up and I love this so much. This one is denim and it has a full functional zipper um, on the back. And it also has like this structured shoulder detail. Um, and the sleeves are three quarter length and it has like this pleating i don't know if you can see it but it has like this pleating here on the sleeve and it like billows out so it's a little puffy it's very dramatic and i love that it's super on trend right now and it's like this light um wash it's not really an acid wash it's more like just a light denim but it is super cute um it also has this pin tuck details here on the side that comes down from the shoulder and so it really minimizes my bust, which I love. And yeah, this is also very heavy. It's of great quality. So I'm pretty excited about wearing this also. I have this skirt that I think is really cute. It's um, not a tweed, but it's giving like a tweed vibe. 
I don't know, it doesn't have the material that this is on the um, on the tag. I actually picked this up in store on sale. It was only $12.99, so I had to grab it. I got this in a size large, but it does not fit. It has zero stretch in it, so I'll probably just put this on Poshmark because I went past the time that I could return it. Um, it has a zipper down this side that is functional, but you can't see it. And yeah, I just think this is really cute. It does have a slit in the back, so it's a little easier to walk in. But I think this would be super cute with like a brown hoodie um, for this time of year. I think that would be really cute. That's how I was planning to wear it if I could. The next skirt that I picked up is probably one of my favorite pieces in this haul. And it is this faux leather wrap skirt. I love this and I plan to wear this so many different ways. Um, because it is faux leather, this can easily be dressed up or down just depending on how you wanna wear it. Um, I probably will wear it the most with like combat boots right now and like a hoodie or a, the, the possibilities are endless. So it has this um, attached belt detail that you use which is functional to close the wrap part of the skirt. And yeah, I think it's amazing. It has two buttons. It's just like a typical wrap skirt. So it has the two buttons on the side and you can adjust it depending on your size. Um, I got this in a large and it was $49.90. Um, I, but I don't believe I paid full price for this. I think I got this on sale. Um, but because I ordered it online, it doesn't have the sale price reflected on the tag. Um, like I mentioned before, with like wearing things high-waisted, I will probably wear this high-waisted. And yeah, I love it. it. I'm short, I'm only 5'2", so it comes like right above my ankle, but I still think it's super cute. If you're taller, of course, it'll come up a little higher on you, but because of how this is cut, I think this would be flattering on anyone, no matter what your height. And it is pleated and I think this is amazing. This is definitely one of my favorite Zara finds to date. The next thing that I picked up is this shirt dress that I love. And like I mentioned, because I'm only 5'2", it doesn't really look like a shirt on me. It's just giving dress, which is what the reason that I picked it up. Um, I got this in a large and this was $35.90. I picked this up in store and they have a few different versions of this so if there are any similar styles or if this style is still available i will link it down below um and it's pretty much just like your basic white tee it's just in the dress form um it has a pocket right here which i'm not super crazy about but i'll take it because i have been wanting a shirt dress in this like just a white shirt dress for so long and this was the first one that i saw that wasn't too short and wasn't too long so I had to grab it and I plan to wear this with um, some sort of leather like crop top harness type of situation if I can find it. I know what I want. I just have to find the right one that will fit me. I saw a few different options on ASOS so whenever I decide which one I want I will style this up in a lookbook so you can see what I mean. Um, but this is fully functional. It has fully functional buttons all the way down. And yeah, super cute. $35.90. This is another dress that I wanted to share. I got this also in a size large and I picked this up on sale in the store. It was twenty. It was $12.99. And it's like this tweed style. It's giving very much Chanel vibes, like old Chanel vibes. It has gold button details on this shoulder. And the gold buttons are also here on these faux leather pockets. This is super cute. The only thing I don't like about this, or I wish it was just a tad bit longer, it hits me like mid thigh, which I'm not comfortable wearing things that short. Um, I'll do short, but not that short. So I was planning to wear this with like some over the knee um, boots or like some thigh high leather boots, which I tried and it is cute. But like I said, it's just a little shorter than I would like. So I will probably put this on my Poshmark. But yeah, this is super cute. It's heavy um, and be, even with it being this tweed material, it's not like scratchy or anything. So I love that. Next item that I got is this polka dot dress. And I just thought this was super cute. I picked this up at the, probably like the end of summer. I was thinking about wearing this for my birthday. 
I never did, but I'm still glad that I have it. This also has this accentuated shoulder detail, which is super on trend right now. And has been for like the last year or so. So I think it's pretty safe to pick up some pieces with the accentuated or exaggerated shoulder if you are on the fence about it, because I think it will be around for a while. Um, this has elastic in the sleeve so it makes like a billowy effect if you push the sleeves up to your elbow which i think is super cute this also is on the shorter side but because it's looser than this tweed dress i can make this one work i will probably wear this with like um some tights and combat boots something super casual since this can lean a little dressy um so just like for everyday wear that's how i will probably style it when I initially picked it up for my birthday, I was planning to wear this with some blue platform sandals and it was really cute, but my plans changed because we're still living in a COVID world. Um, this was $29.90 and I picked this up in a size large. So the next piece that I got is one of my more recent purchases. So if this is available, I will link it down below. This is a long, um, mock neck mock turtleneck dress and it has a slit on the front that comes to right up right below my knee and i typically don't wear longer dresses like this because i am so short it kind of it makes me look a little wide and i don't need any help with that department um this is a shorter sleeve so i will probably layer this under a maxi cardigan or with a um leather blazer or something like that a leather or a leather jacket and with combat boots this can be dressed up with some over the knee snake print boots i think that's probably how i will wear it i think this is super cute i love the color um this is one of the colors of this season so if you see anything in this pretty blue i would recommend grabbing it and yeah the only thing i'm a little disappointed about is the weight of this dress it's a little on the thinner side so it is perfect for like this time of year because it's still not super cold but when we get deeper into winter i probably won't grab for this just because it's not as heavy as i expected it to be funny enough the dress that i'm wearing i bought two because i wasn't sure of the size so this one on the hanger is a medium i'm wearing a small and i initially picked up the medium just because I usually wear a medium or large in Zara dresses. And because this was a sweatshirt dress, I wanted it to fit a little more casually. Um, the thing is with this, it looks a little baggy. And because of my height and how my body is set up, baggy isn't really something that I'm, a look that I'm going for just because it tends to make me look bigger. So I have to be really careful about sizes when trying to wear things oversized because it can easily make me look bigger. Um, on the flip side, I also don't want things that are too tight because that also will make me look bigger. So it's like, I have to find that balance. Um, with this, I, well, first of all, this is a great dress. If you can pick it up, I would totally recommend. When I initially purchased, because I purchased the medium first, and it was $29.90. And when I went back to get the small, um, it was actually on sale for $17.90. So I got it um, for a little less than what I paid for initially. This is super, super soft and it's thick. It's like a sweatshirt material and it is super warm. This is perfect for literally everything. This is like a perfect dress. It has pockets, which I love. The only thing with pockets on sweatshirt material is that you can kind of see the lining of the pocket which can make you look a little hippie so i don't have that with this bigger size but because this one is a little more fitted you can kind of see the lining of the pocket i don't know if you can tell now if what i'm talking about but that is one thing that i'm not crazy about but because this dress is so comfortable i don't care um, right now i'm wearing it with some combat boots i don't know if you can see them but I can also wear this with like over the knee boots, with sneakers, so many different things. You can throw this on to go to the grocery store, nail appointments, anywhere you need to go, this dress can do it. You can easily dress this up. So I got it in this color. And because when I find something I like, I get it in every color. I also picked it up in black. 
um, when I ordered the black, it was when it was on sale. So I got this one for $17.90 as well. And this is also in a size small because that was the only size that they had left. So I'm definitely, of course, going to keep this, but I'm still deciding if I want the small or the medium in this grayish. It's like a gray, almost blue kind of color. It's like in the middle of gray and blue. So the last thing that I wanted to share are these dad sandals. I picked these up in a size eight and they are made of like a teddy coat material. They're a really light tan. Um, and the sole is made of a rubber, but like a soft, almost squishy rubber. So they are very comfortable. These were $59.90. And I feel like these are perfect for this time of year because it's still kind of warm outside but it's fall, so these are like a fall sandal if there is such a thing. Um, super on trend with the dad sandal craze that is happening right now. So if you are able to get these, I would highly recommend. I know that they have gone in and out of stock a few times, so I will link them down below if they are still available. So that is the end of this video. I will be styling all of these pieces in a fall lookbook. So be sure to hit that bell to turn on your post notifications so that you will know when that is live. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.